In this video, I will show you how to create a simple single file web application using the Pyramid Web Application Framework using uh, PyCharm. So let's get started. Let's create a new project. We'll name the project Hello Pyramid. I put my projects inside of my user directory. The project type is going to be a pyramid project. We need to select an interpreter, so click this little button over here. And let's create a virtual environment. We're going to name our virtual environment. I like to use the convention of uh, the version of Python I'm using. So it would be env33. And I also like to put my uh, virtual environments inside of my project folder itself. Uh, that way I keep everything together. Um, we're going to use the base interpreter of Python 3.3 um, and we're going to leave inherit global site packages unchecked. Let's click OK. It PyCharm creates the virtual environment for us. Very convenient. Next we need to install Pyramid. So in our uh, available packages in this virtual environment we only have pip and setup tools. We need to get Pyramid in there. So we click install. That brings up the uh, available packages window and let's search for Pyramid. Here it is. By the way, there's a whole bunch of Pyramid um, add-ons that you can choose from, but we're just gonna stick to Pyramid for now. And uh, click install package and it takes about 30 seconds or so to install. Okay, now that it's done installing Pyramid, we can close the available packages window. And then we can see that, ah, there, Pyramid has been installed. Um, we're gonna be using the version 1.4.5 uh, because 1.5 is still under alpha. Let's click apply and click okay and click OK one more time. And we are going to create a project from existing sources, so just click Yes. And PyCharm creates and loads the project. Thanks for the tip. Inside of our project uh, folder, we can see there's the virtual environment that we created, and there's all the um, packages that we installed earlier, so that's pretty cool. Now we're gonna create our single file web app. So we can do that by going to uh, right clicking and doing new file or file new, either way, doesn't matter. We'll name it hello.py. And I'm gonna go grab the source code from a nice little website uh, where we could uh, go through a quick tour of Pyramid. Um, I'm gonna copy that and paste that into the editor. I save it, and lastly, I go ahead and run this. So you can right click on it and click Run Hello the first time. There we go. Now uh, the file is actually running, and to visit it, we can go to a web browser and go to localhost on port 6543. And there is the response right back at us. Now, if we want to change the response, we can go back and edit our file. So I'm going to do that. And I will save the changes. And I'm going to go back to the web browser and show you something. When I reload, my changes don't show up. That's because when you first run a pyramid application, um, it will scan for the configuration. And um, it only scans it on the very first time that you um, launch or run the application. So in order to have your changes uh, be reloaded, you need to stop and start the process. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to stop the process, restart it, and now I can reload my web browser and those changes should show up. There we go. Um, 
that's it for the uh, introduction to Hello Pyramid. For more information about the Pylons project, you can visit pylonsproject.org. And for more information about the wonderful PyCharm uh, IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, visit jetbrains.com slash PyCharm. Thanks for watching.